everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video I will tell you about five necessary things that you have to do if you're new to Zoha CRM and top five first things that we do for every client when we're setting up Zoha CRM for them. Before I begin this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. So in this video I will mostly show you a small tutorials on different functions, how you can you customize or change some of the settings in Zoha CRM, but I have to mention that the first thing that we do for every client is building up their business processes before starting the setup of Zoha CRM. You can do it by your own tool. So you can build different algorithms of the processes that you have in your business that you can automate in the CRM system by building different workflows and also the journeys. And we're usually using the business process modeling method where we build all of the processes as little algorithms. And I want to show you how it looks like. So obviously, if you don't have time or you don't know how to build the business processes, you can get our help. If you want to learn more, you can book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below to learn more about Zoha Setup. And also you can try to build the business processes on your own using different variety of tools. We have made an article on our website about the tools that you can use. I will leave the link also down below in the description box. So that's the main part that I wanted to tell you here. And now let's move on to Zoha CRM and I will show you some of the main things that we like to set up first for our clients. So the first thing that I want to talk about is reducing the unnecessary modules in your CRM system and also adding the new ones that you may use. It's the first thing that we do for our clients and it's the th first thing that I would recommend doing when you get onto your CRM account. So we started off a demo account of Zoha CRM and you, as you can see there is main uh, modules here but there's also a lot of other unnecessary modules that you don't really need. So where to change that? So when you open up the settings of the CRM system, you can see the tab of customization and you go to the modules and fields. Now let's see what can you do with different modules here. You can organize the modules. So first of all, you can choose the ones that you want to see on your tab and the ones that you don't want to see that they will be hidden. So for example, you can see everything that is chosen here. We, I'm pretty sure we don't need everything that is here. For example, the costs, the delivery, if you don't have any other like orders or something like that. There is also promo codes. Uh, there's also different projects. For example, we don't need the projects and everything. And you can choose the ones that you need and that you don't need. What you can also do here is reorganize uh, the way they look here in the tabs. So there's home leads, contacts, accounts. Then you can switch, for example, the products and the deals with the modules. And then you can switch other modules, for example, the cases and then the orders or con the orders and contracts. And you can switch them and choose the layout that you will see on the tab. Then you can click the save button and then you're done. There's also two more ways to organize the modules in your CRM system. And the next one is the roles and permissions. So for example, you don't want all of the employees to get access to the module of analytics or to the deals module. You can easily place the cursor here and here you can see the module permission. So you can see what um, permission, what roles have the access to this module. For example, the, administra the administrator, the standard team lead manager. For example, we can just exclude the standard uh, type of role here and only the administrators, the team leads and the managers will have the access to this module, which is very, very useful. And also there's another uh, type of uh, organizes them, organizing the modules, which is tab groups. So for example, you want to group the tabs for like, for example, the main tabs. Okay. Leads, contacts, accounts, and for example, deals and activities. You want to add here the main tabs of the menu and you can save it. And then here you can see all of the tabs 
or you can choose the main tabs and then it will clear up the space on the tab menu and you will have all the menus, the menu categorized by the tabs, which is very, very useful. And now we'll move on to the next thing that I want to talk about that is also crucial and it's also located in the menu of customizations, modules and fields. And the next thing that is crucial to make uh, when you set up your CRM system is specifying the fields. So not only the modules in your CRM system, but the next crucial step that we take, we specify the fields in different modules. So for example, in the module of leads, you can open it up and you can click on the fields here and you can see all of the different fields that are added here. So this is the demo that we already used for testing different clients projects. So here we already added a lot of different um, fields, but usually there's like some basic fields and also depending on the products or services that you're selling, you obviously will need some additional fields that will be need to fill out when you are getting the information about the lead. So you can create and edit the different fields by pressing this button and you can see the basically like a field builder. You can see everything here and you can also add the other um, fields. So you gather the information and you build up the uh, scheme of the information that you need from all of your leads uh, that needs to be filled out and then you can add uh, different fields. So for example, if you're working in the real estate as the agent between the person that sells the house and the person that wants to buy a house and you have the database of the, your also like vendors, basically you need to have the images of their houses or other stuff and you can use this field of like the image upload here, for example. There's also different types of fields like subform, rollup summary, summary. There's some basic fields like phone and the single line that you can just like type in uh, different information. The single line could be also like the UTM section, like the UTM content, UTM source, if you're making different ad campaigns and etc. So you build up the profile of your client and you add different fields depending on the area that you're working with. And it's the next crucial step that we're taking and that you need to take when you're setting up Zoho CRM. Not only the thing that I wanted to show you in the fields, because not only you can add additional fields for additional information, you can see that we have a lot here because it's our demo account that we're currently using but also i would highly recommend uh, also uh, segmenting the information into different categories because usually the lead looks like this like if you add a lot of different fields it's hard to specify the information and to find the information that you need so for example i can add a new selection that will have the contact information That will include basically mostly the information about how to contact the lead, the phone, the email, and that kind of stuff. So here, as you can see, I dragged and dropped every single field that was uh, connecting to the contact info of the records. For example, all of the fields that are connected to the phone and to the email into the two different columns. So you can more easily find the information that you're looking for. Another section that I would recommend adding is also the record information. So for example, there's always the fields that you need, for example, the created time, created by the lead source and some other record information that you don't really need to see in this section of the lead contact. So you have to specify it and uh, add all of the fields in there so you can, again, more easily find the information that you need. So let's get the record info uh, fields here. I will drag and drop, for example, the lead source here, the lead status here, uh, the currency can also go here and the exchange rate. Also here is the lead owner and also the created by, the modified by, and all of the other fields. I will get all of them here right now. So after we've done that and create, like, 
gathered all of the information about the record, I would also recommend getting all of the, um, the basic data about the record, for example, the first name, last name, and also specify the company data. So make a specific selection for the fields that include the website, the company, uh, the industry, the, maybe the annual revenue or other fields that you may need about the company. And also you can see that we've added some additional fields for different workflows. And I would also highly recommend specifying them either by the functions that they are used for. For example, the we have um, the selection of the UTM section where all of the UTMs are. And you can also make all of the information about the ads specifically. There's also the address information in the specific section and different subforms, descriptions, uh, the wizard summary also uh, from uh, the sales IQ that is uh, specified by So I'll now categorize all the different fields and show you how it looks like at the end. Also, if you don't need some of the fields, for example, the Skype ID or Twitter, you can easily remove those fields because you won't use them and they can be unnecessary and also they won't help you to find the information faster. So if you remove the fields, like if you have the option to remove some of the fields, I would highly recommend it. So you only have the information that you actually need here. So now when I categorized all of the different fields into different categories, you can also move the sections around. So the list information should obviously be the first one, then the contact info, the company info, some of the additional fields, the record info. If you can, if you want, you can move this up. For example, we use the record info uh, quite often in uh, our company, uh, and then there will be other uh, additional fields. So you can move this around, drag and drop, and it's very easy. So now let's see how the Zoha CRM record looks like now and after I say it. So for example, let's open up any type of test uh, mail, the lead that we created in our CRM system and see all of the data that we have here in the record and how it looks like. So there's like this lead owner, there's lead information and there's so many different fields here now that it's pretty hard to find the information that we need to find. Now let's save the layout of our fields and let's do like this and see how it looks like after some of the changes that we made. I also would recommend not only doing that to the uh, module of the leads, but also to the contacts and to the company modules so you can find it more easily. So there's lead information, the contact info, the company info, and you can see everything is grouped and it's much more easy to find the information when everything is grouped by different criteria of the fields. So. That is it and we'll move on to the next and last thing that I want to talk about in this video. And the last thing that I want to talk about in this video is setting up different profiles and roles and sharing options. So in security control you can see the profiles and the settings of the profiles. So there's for example the administrator, standard, tem team lead and manager. So if you go to the standard and you have these in the basic CRM where you, when you will open it up and you will see that the standard role you may use it for the standard users but it actually has a bit too much permissions in my opinion as for the role in the, like the standard role in uh, the company because for example this is the system defined profile and you will not be able to modify permissions other than basic permissions so they will be able to import records export all of the records mess email delete email and all the other permissions and they will have the permissions that you may not want them to have so to do uh, a, another profile you can just clone the standard profile and name it a basic for example, and create it. And then you will be able to change all of the settings and go through all of the different settings. For example, for leads, they can view, edit, but not delete the leads if you don't want them to be able to delete them. The same goes for the contacts. So you can go through all of these settings and go through every single detail to get a perfect permission to a perfect standard user of your CRM system. You can also make other profiles, for example, a sales representative, a basic account manager, or a basic like system administrator, and then specify the different roles, like or specify different permissions for them to view, edit, uh, or delete information uh, in your CRM system. This is crucial for your data security because you can trust your employees, but sometimes on accident, like accidents can happen. So for example, I would highly recommend to do a data backup of your Soho CRM system and any kind of CRM system that you're using and also to uh, make the profiles and different permissions for different users of your system. So you can go through all of these settings and decide for you if you want the employee to be able to do that, to do different actions or not. So you don't want the data to be leaked from your company and you can restrict your employees from exporting the data from, from your Zoho CRM. So I would highly recommend going through all of the settings where you're just new to Zoho CRM and defining the different profiles and 
permissions for them because it's crucial for data security once again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you and will help you to set up Zoho CRM by your own. Again, if you want to get a setup from certified Zoho partners with huge experience with setting up Zoho CRM and also building the business processes and automating them, then you can get a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions. And also, obviously, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share on this channel. And I will see you in the next week's video.